Hi, this is Nurse Angie of Nurse Angie Adventures. Today we're at LA Cemetery here in Beaver Creek, Ohio. And let's see who we have here. This is a church cemetery, so let's go. You can see this family has decorated the grave. They got some solar powered lights here and the solar power little spotlights. This person was born February 4th, 1951 and died January 27th, 2006. And they have a little scan thing in there that you can use your phone on to get more information. Yeah, according to the website for the cemetery here in Beaver Creek, they did say it is still an active cemetery with still active burials. As, as we can see here, time and erosion has gotten this headstone.
Now this person is a veteran. And if you look here behind his headstone, they've got a covering over his grave. And this gentleman, he was in three wars, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. We have Miss Nancy Bates here, born in 1867 and died in 1908. And we have a headstone here hiding in plants. It is John S Solomon, and he's with the Bates family. Looks like it says son of John and Caitlin Bates. In this cemetery, you have new and the old kind of mixed together. The old is more in the middle, in which I am in the middle of the cemetery now. According to the flag with a little emblem on it, this was a uh, Revolutionary War soldier. This person died in the Civil War due to the break in the headstone. We were unable to tell where in the Civil War.
have found the oldest section in this cemetery. It looks like this person died in 1813. And I bet this is the family this church is named after. And this person, and the person with them, died in 1834. This person died in 1816. Okay, now this headstone here has a little problem. So somebody was nice enough and took a stick and propped it up. Well, right here, you can see, here's the base of this one headstone, and there's the top part. Back in Memorial Day of 2019, we did have a tornado come through the area. I'm not sure if this uh, was affected by it or not, but the Memorial Day was at the end of May. Okay, here's another headstone that has been obviously moved. We're not sure if it can possibly have been of the from the tornado that we had come through this area in of May of 2019. Well, with that said, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and have a good day. Bye.